Hi everyone, Namaste. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to uh, explain some problems uh, that might be encountered in the site during the retrofitting procedure or during the structural stone thinning procedure. So we see here in this photograph the column jacketing works from foundation uh, that includes the stone thinning of footing from the uh, up to the top level to be done, and the intervention is done like this for the jacketing purpose to place the river and uh, farm oaks and uh, sufficient place uh, to be ensured for the concreting oaks or the working platform. First of all, proper safety of the structure should be ensured in the site while doing the column jacketing. All the columns should not be intervened together. Like suppose we have a grid like this. There are six columns in a grid. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Suppose there are six columns, and the intervention should be done in an alternative basis as well as the strengthening or retrofitting works from the foundation to the top level should be done in an alternative basis. Here in this six column, the intervention of this column should be done first and finish the retrofitting works or jacketing works. And after that, we have to go for these columns in number two, and similarly for three, four, five, and six. So that proper safety of the structure should be ensured because we know that Nepal is very uh, active, seismic active country and highly vulnerable in terms of seismic activity. And suppose uh, if the earthquake happens during the construction works and if all the footings, all the columns are exposed uh, together to do the retrofitting works, and you know, if some staking occurs at that time, the chances of collapsing, uh, collapse of this structure is very high. And, uh, this may cause a loss of uh, the, this property and loss of the worker or lives also. So the proper safety should be ensured, uh, which can be uh, done or casted the column or retrofit the column in alternative basis and uh, finish the structure. Whether whether there are 15 numbers of columns or uh, 10 numbers of columns, you can start the works from one end and another end. If we have a time constraint, we can uh, start uh, together with three, four sections, but in an alternative way. Here, in this figure, we see that the, the column is deviated below the plinth level and above the plinth level it is in the vertical alignment and we see clearly here there is a deviation of 50 mm this 50 mm we got from the site measurement and the footing is very small which is which tend to appear as a slope footing but this is not sufficient to carry the uh, dead load uh, and live load of uh, gravity load of the structure so in this case of deviation like uh, this is a deviation by 50 mm Suppose this existing column is 300 by 300 mm, and the newly constructed column after retrofit uh, or retrofitted column is suppose uh, 500 mm, like this. And if this here the gap is the thickness of the column in each direction is 100 mm, minimum 100 mm thickness should be uh, ensured from the existing uh, column. Uh, on the periphery of the column to design a retrofit. And if the thickness exceeds more, uh, more than 100 mm, it depends on the design, that's okay. But yeah, minimum is we have to ensure the 100 mm thickness in order to cast the concrete to place the river and, and to get the concrete, a newly concrete surface regular without any honeycombing and without any quality degrading uh, consequences. So, if this existing column is 300 by 300 mm and the newly constructed column is 500 by 500 mm, and if this deviation lies within this 500 by 500 mm, then it's okay to be ensured for the proper placing of river, vertical and lateral ties with a, a proper uh, uh, cover and cast the concrete. But if the deviation is more and it does not uh, lies within this zone or this 500 by 500 mm column does not occupy the deviation, then uh, proper measurement should be done in the site and report to the design engineer who designed this uh, uh, retrofitting work. 
and follow the instruction guided by the instructor designer. Because in this case of deviation, the eccentricity develops and due to the eccentricity, the biaxial moment in the column tends to increase in both direction where the deviation in the direction where the deviation occurs. So to counteract that increased uh, biaxial moment, the section should be increased or the area of the reverse should be increased. That can be said by the designer. If the section, if the provided section is okay, then he said uh, the designer uh, instructor go ahead with the same design with no changes. Or if something has to be changed or added, the uh, designer is talked to add or to change something like this and follow properly follow the instruction of the um, instructor designer. Similarly, in the case of footing, yeah, here exists a very small footing, which uh, uh, seems to be uh, slow and it's isolated footing. And this is also the case of footing strengthening. Now we see here there is a uh, intervention of uh, or excavation of the soil for the newly constructed footing for the case of new footing. So, the newly constructed footing or new footing should be placed place or should be uh, done as for the design, design. Suppose this is the existing footing and This is a newly designed footing. And the column continues from the here. This indicates the existing footing and the column. And uh, this is the newly added footing. We have to put the river uh, and form works and concreting as for the new design. And the proper measurement should be done for the existing footing and the final or newly constructed footing so that the quantity to be claimed by the contractor is this one. And if we do not, don't give the proper measurement of this existing footing, the quantity shall not be exact enough or accurate uh, quantity which has been casted in the site. So it may be high or it may be low. So in order to have a proper uh, uh, billing proper or billing uh, activities the proper measurement should be done in the site before and after the retrofitting for all the structural element as well as grid locations and depth size of the section uh, of existing beams columns footing etc in the site and another thing be ensure that the depth should be same as the existing footing depth because if we go beyond this depth, the overall uh, structural integrity of the uh, this building will be lost and the building may tend to uh, collapse. So the depth of the excavation of existing and strengthened footing should be same or the strengthened footing should be at the same level uh, of uh, with the existing footing in order to have the overall structural integrity. Yeah, another problem, let's see here in the photos, uh, there is a void in the junction of beams and columns, as well as there is some residue of organic uh, material in the beam column junction. This is uh, because of uh, while doing the uh, slab and beam concreting, all the debris that, uh, and cleaning the slabs, all the debris that might to collect at the beam column junction because the junction is relatively in lower level than the uh, other area. So uh, be sure that in new construction also, the junction of the entire junction of beam and column is clear or not. So this is the case of not being cleared at that time of construction. This is uh, constru uh, constructed many years ago, maybe 15 or 20 years ago. And at that time, maybe there was a lack of supervision or there was absence of uh, engineer or supervisor in the site during the casting time. So because of that, these uh, problems might occur in the site. And in the retrofitting cases in the different uh, uh, location, we notice this type of failure and the deviation of the column as well as twisting of the columns um, in the site. So these are the frequently 
occurring problems in the current practice of retrofitting in this context. So, before doing any intervention works or after the uh, intervention, the, the surface, the area is exposed like, uh, exposed like this. Be ensure that the structure is properly supported by this type of support because we see the beam column junction or mainly the column is not strong enough to, to withstand the gravity load for uh, of the structure of the structure above this level. So the proper supporting by this type of props or any other metal uh, pipes uh, whatever should be done in order to have a safety of the structure and the works uh, work can be done in a confident way uh, yeah, i mean if the workers are scared at the time of working working then the work uh, uh, for the retrofitting cannot be done in a good manner and uh, also, the overall uh, structural integrity may be lost. Uh, if the earthquake happen in this case also, and if the support is not being done like this, uh, even a small shock also disturb the overall structural integrity. So, first of all, in retrofitting works, either in any case, not only in this case, proper safety of the structure and the saving of the structure from being demolished, from being collapsed, should be properly ensured in the site. That's the main thing, uh, uh, like uh, the precaution should be taken in the site during the retrofitting procedure. So before retrofitting work or the jacketing work in such type of problems which were uh, seen in the site, first of all, the problem should be repaired. Uh, if it is a minor problem, uh, it should be repaired. And in this case, this is the major structural problem so this should be restored in the original condition i mean the structure at least we have to uh, reinstate the structure into the original condition by the applications of some treatment suppose in this case the epoxy uh, grout or chemical grout or pressure grout with uh, the addition of epoxy or some other super plasticizer chemicals should be done um, after placing the nozzle in this affected area, in this problematic area, and um, the pressure grouting should be done, and uh, the pressure grouting should fill all the voids present in the inner part of the concrete. And this can be known if we if we inject uh, the pressure grouting here, the chemical with the cement slurry, and if the injected chemical, injected slurry uh, can be spilled from the back part or some other part, then it can be said that the internal part of the structure can is filled, or uh, the process of grouting is succeed. So after uh, clearing the voids or after filling the voids in the internal surface, the exposed external surface should be casted with a micro concrete or uh, with a rich mortar uh, with the addition of some super plasticizer and make the structure into original state. This is the video uh, for indicating the placing of river in the columns for column jacketing after the treatment of all these possible, all these encountered problem in the site. And the placing of river is as for the design. We see there are uh, three rivers concentrated at the corners because we know that uh, during the analysis, uh, nonlinear analysis, there is a high stress con concentration in the uh, corner rivers and if you see the actual tensile actual strain in the river at first the corner river are in dead so the reverse placing is uh, like this and decreasing toward the center and secondly the placing of river is uh, uh, at the corner is due to the there is a beam present in the central part of the columns the horizontal member and we cannot drill the or we cannot damage the entire beam in order to cause uh, the column so the holes are uh, drilled uh, from the slab, uh, or the slab is punctured in the four corners, and the rivers are continued from bottom to top. And this face wire, it is tied with a uh, epoxy river, and it is anchored and tied with epoxy river on the uh, entire floor to floor. It is not throughout the river. Similarly, uh, the column jacketing procedure can be done. We see here the column surface is um, being rough in order to 
bond the new and old concrete, first of all, the plaster should be removed from the column surface and the surface uh, should be made uh, rough like this uh, with the tools in order to have a proper bonding. And we see here there is a, uh, this uh, shear connector river or the river which is drilled, uh, which is inserted in the existing column with a proper uh, depth of the drill uh, with a co compressor machine or drill machine. And the epoxy chemical is placed inside the uh, hole after the dust is blown by the air blower and the river is placed and hook the longitudinal river of jacketing column like this. So this is the river placing for the column jacketing.